Hi guys, um, I don't normally do videos and stuff like this, but I'm going to do a little bit of a rant video, and today I'm going to, the rant's not about the game I'm playing, the rant's about a game I used to play, or loved playing, and that's World of Tanks. Um... A long time ago, <clears throat> I um, streamed solely just World of Tanks. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it was one of my main source of um, streaming because I enjoyed playing it. And I was waiting for the holiday ops to drop. Um, and I have no idea who approved the current holiday ops over at Wargaming, but whoever did needs to get their head looked at. Um, what I mean by that is um, you've added tanks to the game that just don't fit within the genre of World of Tanks, case in point. I'm looking at the BZ-176. This thing is ridiculous. Who who okayed this? It's a tier 8, so it will see tier 6s. Name a single tier 6 tank that's not going to be shooting premium. Okay, so let's just take the premium ammo con uh, debate out. Okay, let's take that out. Alright? Name a single tier 6 tank... That can actually damage this thing from the front. Because I don't know of any. 300mm pen. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, four, uh, uh, 398mm is a pen because it's spaced armour. So, don't shoot HE at it. Don't shoot heat at it. Only shoot AP at it. Well, name a single AP round that has literally 400mm a pen. At tier 6. There isn't one. There's not even one at tier 10 that I know of. So, and bear in mind, I'm not talking about heat or, or squash head. I'm talking regular armor piercing shells. There's none at tier 10. This doesn't even fire that amount of pen. So if, it, 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 it's the old issue of, of two... Oh god, what was that bloody tank that came into the game that was OP as hell? Um, Chrysler's. It's too, 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 like, like the Chrysler debate came in again. This is basically another Chrysler. The only thing this has is rockets. So it gets to basically be as fast as a light tank or a medium tank four times in the match. Well, if you know where to go, if you literally gave this tank to quote unquote professional esports world of tanks teams they would tell you do not put this tank in the game it is broken as hell do not put it in the game clearly this was aimed at being a tier 10 but then some moron deleted the 10 and put an 8 the thing has a 160 millimeter gun good luck Trying to find a tank where that gun will not overmatch. It will overmatch pretty much any tank it sees. So if you're in a Swedish tank destroyer, you know, one of the Strix Vans or whatever, bye. It's overmatched you. With ease. Not only has it overmatched you, but quite literally, it's now staying inside your tank, bouncing around on a holiday, and it's never going to leave. It's literally, it's literally living in your tank rent-free. No amount of angling is going to save you. None. Not in a Strix van. Not in, God forbid, if you're in a fucking Hellcat, this thing will one-shot you. If you're in a Hellcat. I've seen it. I've seen it look at a Hellcat and go, boop, gone. Whoever decided to put this tank in the game you need to have your fucking head examined 
or you need to be fired, or both. This tank needs to be taken out, redone, just, just either removed from the game, or nerfed to fucking hell. Because I remember when players were bitching about the Super Pershing being overpowered with its spatial armor. This is basically a Super Pershing on steroids with a bigger gun. So, is anyone going to piss and moan about it? No, because guess what? It's in the loot boxes. Which you're guaranteed to get one of these tanks. Either this one or the stupid French light tank that ha now has a three round auto burst. Like it's a Type 95 Chinese rifle. <laughs> now your fucking tank tank's dead in like two seconds. I, 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 again, Wargaming, if that's the case, why don't you just bring in full-on, like, 76mm Chadukas? Or fucking uh, 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 bring in... You know what? Hell, make that American light tank. Oh, God, what is it? Where's, that's another book. Where's the Star Destroyer? The Star Destroyer is not in the game. Why doesn't the US get its Star Destroyer? And if you don't know what that is, that is quite literally a Mark 48. You know, it's either an M60 or a Mark 48 pattern with a 100 or a 200 and something millimeter howitzer. Um, here, you know what? I'll just bring it up. No, I missed out Star Destroyer. M60? No, it's not an M60. I know it was based on either the M60 platform. Can I drive my, my, uh, up up the tree until I find it? There's, yeah, there it is. There it is. The M60A2, otherwise known as the Death Star. Why not add this into the game then, War Gaming? Hmm. Oh, you won't, will you? Because that will make your any fucking Soviet tank turn into fucking Swiss cheese. This gun up top alone would turn any Soviet tank into Swiss cheese. That is a fucking, I think it's like a 60 mil, no, 90, it's either a 70, it, 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 it's, it's an auto loader, cannon. That thing right there would just go do, 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 and just shred APCs, leaving the main battle cannon for bunkers. This was literally an infantry designed support vehicle to take out APCs and reinforce bunkers and crisis as well, but it could also fire missiles. And I'm not even joking. It could even fire missiles. And so gun launcher drastically reduced turrets front lock uh, compensation by the A1. Uh, where is it? Uh, smoke, smoke grenade. That's nothing. Why don't we, yeah, there we go. Uh, MGM-51 missiles. You won't add those into the game. Why? Because that would literally turn that Chinese piece of shit into scrap. But you won't add that, will you? As a counterbalance. No. No, no, no. You won't add any of those, will you? No. Oh, I was a prototype. Okay, you've added in fake tanks that never existed. Look at the Chinese tech tree. 90% of those tanks never existed. Take a look at the Polish tech tree. Take a look at the Swedish tech tree. Take, uh, there, there are so many. Look, look up 90%. How many fucking KVs and ISs are you going to add that didn't exist or existed in a one-off prototype? Well, here's a one-off prototype. Add it into the fucking game. Which you won't. You won't. You're too chicken shit to. Because you know it's going to destroy your narrative. And that's the thing. Someone at Wargaming has a narrative. And that narrative is killing this game. This game used to be fun. Same as your map updates. Okay. So far, all I've seen on your map updates is... We want you to fight each other... Face on, head to head, no flanking, no this, no that. You have to go this route, this route, or this route, and only those three routes. No. No. 
I will repeat myself. No. You have former tank commanders as advisors. Ask them. Would it be wise to send tanks into urban environments? And you will get a resounding, Oh, hey, 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 hell no. Oh, oh. Former fucking tank driver. Every time I even got told to get close to a village, I said, negative. Why? Because I'm responsible for everyone else in that tank. Yes, my TC is above me. Yes, my TC technically follow if you go up the chain of command, blah, 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 and all that shit. Yeah, okay, fine, whatever. But you've got to understand, if that gunner shoots, kills a civilian, who's who's the blame, the gunner or the TC? The TC never gave the order to fire. The gunner's, gunner's the problem. Well, if I drive a tank forward, we get hit with an RPG, and somehow I live, or we get hit, hit with a round you know, or whatever, and I we lose crewmen. I'm to blame for that. That's on me. So why is it all of your fucking maps are, are turning into urban city maps? Why? Are you fucking stupid? You won't add tanks that that, that are, are, are a good balance or counter. But what you will add is stupid fucking tanks like this. That are overpowered and broken. Okay. Oh, it's lower lower plate is a problem. What, what? 251 millimeters? Two, two, 251 millimeters. Again, name a tier 6 tank that has that in its AP round. There isn't any. Because, you fucking morons, you gave it spaced front armour, which means heat is not going to do shit. HE is going to do shit. So not only is this tank going to bully the shit out of tier 6 and tier 7 players, and they're just going to say, mm, fuck this shit, I'm out, and quit and not play. There goes your fucking player base, you fucking retards. Yes, you're making me use the R word now. Not only have you killed any enjoyment from tier 6, tier 7, and tier 8, but you're also killing enjoyment from tier 8s, 9s, and 10s. Because this fucking thing, quite literally, is bullying tier 9s, tier 10s, and, 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 and whatnot tanks equal and way above its tier that he shouldn't even be fucking fighting or punching its weight to. Those stupid fucking little rockets means it can go fucking to places where my, my, my E100 or my mouse or whatever fucking tank I'm using has barely even left the spawn yet. Yeah, I'm lit up like a Christmas tree. And it's not the light tanks. I know it's not the light tanks. It's this fucking thing. Did you do any kind of player testing? Any. Any. Did you put it on the actual player test server and let players actually play with this tank? No. You kept it in-house and only let all your yes sir, no sir, three bags full sir, let... <laughs> yummy sir, may I have another sir? That's what you fucking did. You've surrounded yourself by yes men. You need someone that's going to say, wait a minute, hold up, something ain't right here. Okay. And you go, well, the Capola's a weak spot. Okay. The Capola's a weak spot, right? That's what you're saying. You're telling me that the, the, the Capola is a weak spot. Okay. So, case in point, say, say, say the tank is a little bit further away. You know, he's angled, you know, he's moved his turret a little bit or whatever. Okay, uh, he's aimed at someone else. And I take a shot. Okay. That's 111 millimeters at tier 6. What's the accuracy like on most tier, tier 6 tanks? Guess where that shell's going? Woo! A bit of a wee! 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 It's not even going to hit anywhere the fuck you aim. Because, again, someone... Oh, so gloriously at the fucking chain of command over at Wargaming said, uh, let's see, we're going to give all the tanks more hit points, but not increase their ammo, 
and we're going to make all the accuracy of their guns worse, but we're going to put in the papers that we've made their guns better. Case in point, Grilly, uh, the, 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 tank, tier 10 tank destroyer on the Germans. The, the, uh, the, 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 no, the G something, anyway, the tier 10, not, not, not the, the encased one, the, the turret one. It has what, 0.31, 0.32 accuracy? <laughs> My fucking left nut does it. You lie in the paper stats to make players feel like, oh, oh, this tank's good. Oh, 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 oh. Get into it and the tank is fucking shit. You lie through your fucking teeth. If you think the backlash that you got over the fucking super purging and having to nerf it to the point where you offered refunds to the player base because you know you fucked up both ways by adding it in too powerfully and not fucking player testing it. Hint, friggity hint. Players complained, you nerfed it a little bit. Players still complained, you nerfed it too much. Players are complaining on the other side. And now all of a sudden it's like, well, you know what? Just to please everybody, we're just going to take the tank out of the fucking game and give you guys all your gold back. You did it with the Waffen Trigger E100. You took away the E100 and you brought it back for an event just to fucking literally stick your finger up everyone's ass to remind them, oh, oh, this is a tank that you had once and we fucking pulled it out of you like we're pulling out your lower scrotum through your fucking testicles. Oh, but we know what? We'll let you have it for, for 10 games. <laughs> that is quite literally raping the shit out of someone and then visiting them in the hospital. Whoever is fucking doing this shit at Wargaming, whoever's coming up with these stupid ideas of, let's add a rocket tank. Put that person in a padded room, seal that room in concrete, and dump them in the North Sea. Okay? There's a reason why tanks don't have rockets on them. And that's another thing. Is it a module that you can shoot at? No, it's not. Is it tank? No, it's not a module that you can shoot at. So, like in real life, if it was on the outside, like your Russian fuel tanks on your T-34s, hint, friggity hint, yet those don't catch fire, yet the real ones do. Hmm. Which is why you move the fuel tanks to the inside of a T-34 and they still caught fire. It's, you had to reduce the armor to make room for the fuel tank. So a shell was still going to go through. So, case in point, even from the sides, okay? Right there. Take a look. That That's over 300 millimeters right there. No tier 6 is going to get through. 210. A tier 6 might, if his tracks don't eat it. Side turret. Nope. That's 320 something right there. Nope. No tier 6 is going to get through. <laughs> no tier 6 is going to get through. No tier 6. Are, are you not are you not getting it? Are you not getting it? Wargaming. Please tell me that this video some 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 of this video is sinking the fuck in. Because you quite literally made a tank that's indestructible from the front. What? You just aim for the components? No, you don't understand. At, at that angling, it's pretty much an auto bounce. You, you just don't fucking get it, do you, Wargaming? You just don't fucking get it. Before you add any new tank into a game, you need to fucking test this shit for more than just a day, for more than just two days, for more than just a week. I'm talking months. And don't just do a little pop-up survey. How would you recommend World of Tanks to your friends? Because guess what? I always click zero. None. I won't. I won't recommend this fucking game to your friends. 
to my friends or to anyone. And whenever I hear someone, like, oh, I play World of Tanks, I look at them and say, get the fuck out. Just, just quit the game, get the fuck out. It is cancer. It is literally cancer on tracks. You have gone the same route that Armored Warfare did. Okay, Armored Warfare started adding in more and 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 more broken tanks without testing. They even turned around and apologized and said that we have added some tanks in the game that skipped our internal testing and we are sorry for that, but it was too late. They had lost so many players. You're going to do the same. If this, if this shit is the direction that you're going to be taking World of Tanks in, my 12 my 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 11 year old count won't ever get played on again i will sell it i will sell it to a fucking bot farming group just to stick it to you cunts and that's another thing you haven't done fuck all about the match rigging your matchmaker is an absolute fucking joke you should make it plus one that's it so tier sixes, C tier sixes, sevens, C tier sevens, eight, C tier eights, nine, C nines, and ten, C tens. That's it. That is actually how you should do it from tier six. Literally, from six on up, that's it. One and one. Done. So plus one, neg one. So tier six will see some tier five and some tier seven. Tier sevens will see some tier six and mostly tier eights. Eights will see mostly tier nines and some tier uh, and some tier sevens not tier sixes this tank literally if it was to come across an entire fucking enemy team of tier sixes would quite literally piss all over them and not even fucking break a sweat all because you fucking idiots fucked up so thank you whoever watches this video thank you for hitting the like whatever buttons whatever leave a comment just leave a comment down below Okay, share it, put it on the put it on the World of Tanks forums. I don't care. Show it to whoever you want. This is this is my actual fucking statement. Thank you. Fuck you. Bye.